So I want to show you what it's like before goats get on here. And you can see it's heavily vegetated, lots of greenery. You can't even see that corner over there. Well, and this is what it will look like after goats have come in and done their job. It's clean and clear in here. You can walk through here. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bodark Kikos. I'm Josh and we appreciate you guys clicking on our video. So what you're seeing behind me is a wall of brush. And you can see that it is thick. You can't see through it. And uh, what I'm needing to do is access, access the fence that's behind there because I want to be able to graze this pasture and use this for my goats. And goats love brush. So I'm gonna use the goats to trim this brush up. They love going after forage, leaves, vines, poison ivy, whatever that they can get up as high as they can reach. They're gonna clear this up. I'm gonna show you guys some examples of an, another pasture that I have that the goats have worked over, cleaned it up and got it looking good. And I'm gonna show you as they're moving through this pasture how, to, how they clean this up. So come on along with us. Using goats to clean your vegetation is the way that we went. That's why I got into goats to begin with. I wanted to clean our place up. Couldn't afford to bring in heavy machinery. So I went with goats and goats have done the trick. Well, I'm about to lead these goats back to the back there. Way back there in the back. And let's go do a little bit of brush trimming using goats. I'm gonna bring you guys along, show you what they can do. So this is an old brush pile um, where we had done some clearing before and pushed it up and vegetation is growing up through it, trees are growing through it. And these goats are gonna go in here and that's what they'll go for first. They go for that leafy type uh, brush. They're gonna get in here. They're gonna clean this up. I'll be able to push this back up and get rid of this like I should have the first time. But these goats are browsers. So they're going to want to go and eat move eat move eat they'll make laps around this little pasture it's about a three acre pasture it's in the back part of my property and i want to get it cleaned up so what i've done is in the past a few years ago i went in and put some goat wire on top of bob wire because bob wire was already here so i did that and all i like is the wall that i showed you in the beginning is this right here needs to be cleaned up and eat through so I can access uh, that fence that's there and I can put something on it to keep the goats from going through it. So right now I'm out here with them, I'm watching them. I'm letting them graze this for several hours and I'll do this for several days in a row to get what I need to get done. So I wanna be able to show you guys what I'm talking about. And this is why I have to stay back here to keep an eye on them is because you can see the vegetation is high and they can eat but right here is where the fence is so this fence right here is where I'm trying to access this fence to where I can put something on top of it so the goats don't go on to the other property now they're gonna want to stay and eat this brush right here and clean all this up um, there's poison ivy there's all kinds of stuff in it so they're gonna be 
stand with that. They're not gonna wanna go through the fence just yet because there's nothing for them to wanna leave. So that's why I'm staying down here, keeping an eye on it, watching them uh, graze. So I want to show you what it's like before goats get on here and you can see it's heavily vegetated, lots of greenery. You can't even see that corner over there. Well and this is what it will look like after goats have come in and done their job. It's clean and clear in here. You can walk through here. They've reached up as high as they can reach all the way down. Now over here is the property I was just showing you, the pasture. This is thick and you can't see through it. You'd have a hard time crawling through it to where this right here, you can walk all the way through it. So I'm gonna show you this area right here where the goats have been in this pasture for a while and clean this out. And you can see all the way through it. That green line you're seeing right there is high as they can reach up. So what I'm doing is since the goats have done their job, it's now it's my turn to come in here and clear a path, clean out a few trees and allow it easier access. So without the goats being on this property, I couldn't have done this. It would look just like it does over there thick. I'm gonna drive over there and show you how thick that is. But just using goats is what has helped us to get our place clean and clear like this. Now, for instance, this right here, this is what I used. It's got goat wire on top of the existing bob wire. And the goats have come in and cleaned up. So this was the area that I was just in. And you can see how the goats have went in. You can see through the other side. But over here is the pasture that they're working on now. And you can see that there is no way to get through there. You can't even crawl. I'm going to go over and get a closer look. But just to show you the difference of what goats can do for you.
So I'm back over here on the side the goats are working on and you can see um, just how thick this is. This right here, there's poison ivy, there's vines, there's trees, there's cedars. There's all kinds of vegetation for these goats to eat on. And as I make my way over here to where what the goats have done is there's just no comparison to how good a goat can do for you when it comes to cleaning up your place. That's economically, um, as long as you got the right infrastructure, hot wire, netting, fence up, something to, to contain those goats, they're gonna stay right here, make rounds, and clean it up. Now, this little plant right here that you see is a cedar. It's a baby cedar tree popping up, and they are not good for your ground. They suck all the water out, and you can see that goat is just going to town, cleaning it up. It's something that has popped up here in this fence row, and these goats will eat those cedars up um, it's a natural dewormer for them uh, they will clean them up as high as they can reach and uh, you've seen that goat she's tearing it up right now she's eating it up um, it's good for them and that's what they're doing in this pasture they are making this a better pasture for grazing uh, and I just have to get them in here get the brush eat down so it can look like it does on the other pasture and get it to where I can open it up and let them come in and graze it as I want. I don't want to have to sit out here with them, and that's the reason why I don't want my goats getting out. I don't want them roaming onto another property. I want them to eat that brush down so I can put the fence up, put some electric wire up, whatever I need to do to keep them right here grazing this pasture. So guys, if you're new here, we're right at 19,969 subscribers. We are almost to 20,000 subscribers. That's been a goal of ours for a long time. You guys can help us reach it. If you're not subscribed, go down, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and we would really appreciate it. We want to keep making this content for you guys, showing you how we raise goats here in Texas, uh, offering up advice on how uh, things help us, showing you guys what we do, and I know it's helping people out. I've heard uh, several uh, statements, comments, people reach out to me saying how much they appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. We appreciate you guys keeping us going, um, wanting us to push more, grow this channel. And it's all about uh, just doing what you like. And I like to do this. I like uh, giving up our advice on how we do things and uh, hopefully it helps you. So all you gotta do is go down, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and be a part of it. We are greatly appreciate it. So it's hot here. I'm gonna pull these goats out of here. I only wanna give them just a few hours a day. Maybe come out here in the early morning like I am now come back in the afternoons. Right now, it's, we're in a heat advisory. There is no water, so I just let them graze, make rounds, clean up some brush, and that's gonna take several days to do that. So uh, right now, you can see uh, They're hot, they're panting, it's time to go get a drink of water. Uh, goats are a very good goat at cleaning up stuff, um, eating all the weeds, taking the underbrush, taking it as high as they can reach all the way down to the ground where you can get through it and access it. Um, there's places on my property when I first got goats you couldn't even crawl through, like that spot I showed you, how thick it is. But goats will do the trick if you got the right setup. So goats are a great way to get under, uh, get the brush under control. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one.